It's a small cloud here at Linton versus Bloomfield for a game that will more than likely determine the SWIAC title. But nevertheless, the game still goes on. Bloomfield entered the game 6-1 and one on the season, with its only defeat to Linton six days ago at the Greene County Invite title game. Both the Miners and the Cardinals are ranked in the top five in their respective classes. The Miners are 12-2 and, and are playing their third straight game without their starter in Josh Pine. The Cardinals needed a good game out of their junior in Christopher Royal and they got it as he had a team high 20 points. Minton senior Trey Goodman would score before the first quarter ended however as Minton led 16-8. The Cardinals would fight back in the second quarter, though, as Brett Sherrard would get the friendly bounce on this basket. Future Indiana State Sycamore Lincoln Hale made this three-pointer look effortless. The Miners still led 31-26 at the half. Junior Drew Smith has emerged as a key player as the season has gone on, as he had 10 points on 5 of 7 shooting. Bloomfield would tie the game at 33 all with this great ball movement as they would find Sherrard for the two-pointer. But the few fans in the gym knew that it was only a matter of time before Lincoln Hale took the game over. They had some chances, but Bloomfield never brought the score to within one possession in the fourth quarter. Bloomfield's leading scorer, Baylin Graff, would hit this step-back three-pointer to bring the Cardinals to within five at 52-47. But when the Miners needed a bucket, Hale delivered. He had a game-high 24 points. The Miners stayed perfect in Swayak play with 62-53 win over Bloomfield to move to 13-2 on the season. Congrats being a Bloomfield second time six days. How'd you guys do it? Uh, we prepared all week for him. We took what we did wrong last game and we, we took that into practice and uh, did what we could to get the job done today. Tried to match their intensity. Played very hard. And uh, you guys are now 2 uh, 3 0 technically after Pine's gone down. Like, how have you guys been able to manage with his uh, absence? Uh, we've, we've managed pretty well with it. Obviously, uh, losing Josh is he's one of our key players. and. Uh, we just did what we can to get the game over with. And uh, Drew, are you getting more confidence out there? It seems like you're getting better every game. Yeah, I'm trying my best. These two games, Josh is out, coming starting lineup, I think it's helped quite a bit. Just try to improve on that, get better every week. Well, we hit the reset button and move on. Uh, we got another tough one tomorrow. We go to South Knox. So, uh, you know, kids played hard tonight, just uh, right there. But yet, uh, you know, we're playing a really good basketball team in Linton. Just couldn't uh, couldn't quite get over the hump again. How did this game play out differently from Saturday night? Uh, you know, same kind of same kind of thing. I think Lincoln Hill. You know, he kind of killed us there. We had a possession or two, and he'd always come up with a bucket uh, when we were trying to get a stop. But uh, you know, a little different game uh, over here than what it was uh, Saturday night. Uh, six and two. Do you still feel pretty good about your squad? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're. Uh, you know, we're still behind some games, so you know we just we just need to play some more games and get some guys some experience, and uh, hopefully uh, get better as the season goes on.